This is a case of a 33-year-old male who twisted his ankle about a month prior to seeing me. Still complaining of mild pain with walking and he feels he cannot run. On physical exam, he did this some nodularity, just superficial to the tibialis anterior tendon. Initially, I thought it may just be a post-traumatic type ganglion. However, upon further review and after getting an MRI, he essentially had tenosynovitis of the tibialis anterior tendon. Also, looking back at his ultrasound, the fact that the fluid is pretty much spread out and kind of diffuse over the tibialis anterior tendon goes against the ganglion and is more in favor of tenosynovitis. Also, he suffered from a severe sprain of the anterior talfibula ligament as well as the deltoid ligament. It's a 33-year-old male sprained his ankle about a month ago. I presents today um, for uh, initial visit, actually. He's complaining of a little lump here in the uh, distal anterior leg, um, just probably above the joint line. Probably may just be a post-traumatic uh, type of ganglion. I'm going to go ahead and just evaluate it. Seems like it's basically maybe coming off the tibialis anterior tendon. Uh, the um, left side of the screen is distal. We're just looking at it as, um, here's his tibia. And we can get the tibialis anterior tendon. And here's that fluid again. And again, upon review, this is probably more consistent with tenosynovitis versus a true ganglion. But while I was examining it, since it had that feel of a ganglion, I decided to call it that. And you can see some fluid collections above it. Perhaps it felt like a ganglion because of the significant amount of inflamed synovium around the tendon, which can, which can give a nodular type of feel to the tendon. Or distal tibia, particularly with the talus. And here's just a view of the tibialis anterior tendon crossing over the joint. We got the um, lateral moellus or the distal fibula on the right side of the screen, and then we got the, ta the um, talus on the left side of the screen. So here you really can't make out a clear-cut compact fibrillar anterior talofibular ligament. You could see some fibers, but nothing continuous. And again, this is consistent with a pretty severe sprain of the anterior talofibular ligament. So we're trying to look at the anterior talofibular ligament. And I could see some fluid around it, some irregularity. Really hard to get a discrete look at the uh, ligament going across. And this was consistent with his MRI findings.